Hey guys, I'm back with another video. It's Buck5090 here. You can tell this is a new video from 2019. This is a new GameStop exclusive. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by NECA Toys. This is Raphael. He's the one with the size. As you all remember, she says only GameStop. Nickelodeon brand. Raphael. Look at the packaging. It looks really nice. Comes with a slice of pizza as well. It's got the size. Over here on the side, just product images of the Raphael. This is from the 1 4 scale Raphael, I believe. And over here on the other side, there's another image of Raphael looking very nice. Looking bad already in his pose right there. You can see here in the back, got more images of Raphael. This is the quarter scale Raphael they have here. And over here they got a description if you would like to pause it and read that if you'd like. And of course you got the image of the four turtles right there with the little logo. Um, the, the the logo from the VHS tape, but it says instead it says Nick instead. So yeah, let's crack open Raph because I'm excited to see what a badass this guy is. All right, so just like I did with the other turtles, you can see Raphael out of the packaging, still in the packaging, out of the box. My bad, out of the box, still in the packaging. You can see he comes with a slice of pizza, his two sides, an extra bandana, and extra hands. In case you want to have him pose in that, er, you know, posing position. And I will do a comparison with the Walmart exclusive Ninja Turtle from the 1990s figures. So stay tuned for that as well. Now let's officially take him out of the packaging. Alright, now we have officially taken him out of his packaging. Now as I said with the other turtles, he does come with extra accessories. He comes with extra uh, bandana pointing on the other side. Yeah, it comes with an extra slice of pizza. Which again we saw with the other turtles, really nicely detailed and it's got a lot of nice goodies on there. You can see the pepperoni on the side right here, anchovies, peppers, um, what is this, olives, olives, I think, I don't know. This looks gross. <laughs> I mainly only eat pepperoni or sausage, but yeah, that's because I'm boring. And of course he comes with these extra pair of hands, which I'm guessing is so he can hold his size between the fingers. And we'll see how that looks like later. But yeah, let's take a look at Raphael right now. Looks really nice. Very, very detailed. Just like the other turtles, of course. Why wouldn't he be? Uh, I think he's got a little bit more detail on him. He does have a scar on his face. I don't know if anyone has noticed this before in the other figures or the other reviews. He's got a couple of scars on him. He's got, he's got this weird scar right here on his face. Uh, what else? He's got, like, some more... Uh, I don't know where I see any more scars, but he has the most battle damage of the four turtles. And you can definitely tell that more by his shell. His shell is detailed with battle damage. You can see a bunch of cuts here on the shell. Right there. Right here. He's just riddled with battle damageness. And as you can tell, this little holster thing kind of falls off a little on me. But it is glued on this part. So that is good for me. Uh, as the holster doesn't fall below the waist. Um, you can put the size in his little protector thingy. I do have to open up the hands because the hands are a little bit of a close fit. Which is nice because that way you don't have the, you know, uh, accessories. Uh, well, his weapons falling off. You can put the size right here on his side. So that's really neat. You can tell the belt is really detailed as well. He's got the little silver right there. Um, very detailed. And it doesn't really hinder the articulation of the legs. You can still have him do different poses while the side is held right there in the holster. And again, you can have him hold it in his hand. And I do believe these hands are molded so that you can have him... Let me see how you would do it. Maybe like this or something like this. Something like this, maybe. You know, have him hold the side like this. Maybe, I don't know. I thought I thought it would be able to fit like this, as he usually does it. But I guess, I guess not. So, uh, back to the figure. <laughs> as you can tell, it does fit in his hand, but the hands are a little nicely gripped. So you may have to open up the hands a little bit, but slightly. Don't break the figure. Uh, and of course, you can put the side in there with minimal... Uh, <laughs> With minimal uh, ease, a little, little bit of ease right there. So yeah, they fit in really nice. And again, the sides are really nice and detailed, as you can see right there. You got 
you got the brown straps over here and then you got the silver for the actual side and it's not pointy either so you know your kids won't get hurt if you buy them for your kids if you uh, would like to buy a set for your kids um, and he's got he's got the basic articulation that all the turtles have in this wave so you have the arms they can go in and out forward and back the head can rotate around this much it can look down this much and disappointments you know when you they take splinter you're like oh splinter and you can look up this much, which is really nice. Good range of motion for the head, actually. And then he's got double jointed elbows, of course. He's got double jointed knees. Uh, the elbow pads and the knee pads, of course, they uh, kind of hide the articulation, which is nice because it doesn't look like a figure at all or a action figure at all because of the because of the pads hiding the articulation, which is really nice. I really like that on the figure. Uh, he does have some scratches right here on the belt as well, you can see. Yeah, I know he has the most battle damage to him uh, compared to the other turtles because he is the one that is the hardcore turtle of the four. He is the, the, the fighter. He is the one with the, the most heart, I believe. Maybe you might think it's Leonardo because Leonardo is the leader, but nope. Uh, Raphael is the one with more heart. And of course, he's got the leg articulation forward and back, in and out. I don't want to move it too much because I have had people in the review say that the leg joints are loose for them, especially on their Mikey figures. So we will see that when we get to Mikey. Or if we had gotten to Mikey, maybe you saw that already. Uh, right here, the legs can go in and out, forward and back, ankle pivot, I believe. And yeah, I mean, we can switch out the bandanas as well. Let's see, you can switch this out just slowly wiggle that out you don't want to bend the little thing either because then you might end up breaking this peg and then of course you won't be able to put it back in so what I like to do again is I just try to drill it in there in little you know in little increments like circle and then maybe at the end just kind of push well I don't know if this one's gonna fit all the way in uh, just kind of just kind of tug it in there there you go push it in there and now the bandana is on the other side of his head so you see you can definitely do some different poses with your uh, turtles uh, since you have the choice to move the bandanas from the right to the left because the quarter scale ones came with um, cloth bandanas we didn't really need the option for you know switching bandanas <laughs> you could just move the cloth bandana wherever you want it but this is really nice to have them in an actual you know regular bandana position because then you'd have the option to just you know move them around at will and stuff but yeah this one's really nice I just think it's a little stiff for this head oh no now I might not want to come out come on come on okay he came out but yeah I'm always really scared when I'm switching the bandanas on these figures because the pegs on the bandanas are just really you know really uh what's it called fragile I think yeah fragile so yeah you want to do a little comparison we can whip out the other uh, figure from Walmart and compare it right now give me a second alright so here's the little comparison we got here we got the NECA Ninja Turtles Raphael over here excuse me and we got the Walmart exclusive 1990s Raphael over here on the other side Obviously, you can tell this one's more realistic than this one. This one looks like a cheap little plastic toy. And, of course, the size also here, they put them both silver on these things. While in this figure, it's bandaged up, up to here. And then this one, this piece is only metal. So, I don't know if that was a manufacturing error or not. But, yeah. Again, you can definitely tell this is more, you know, catered to kids. Uh, even though I did buy it as well. But we didn't have the Naked Turtles back then, so, you know. So, like, I had no choice. I had to pick these up. But, yeah, definitely these are a must have so if you guys are on the lookout for them they are online now you can pre-order your Ninja Turtles right now online on GameStop um, and if not you want to wait a couple more weeks then you can definitely you know by all means wait a couple weeks and they will be coming out uh, in stock in the stores and they will have a bunch on the shelves uh, NECA has assured us that they're producing a lot of these figures so if you see them online and scalpers are trying to like sell it to you for triple the price don't pay those ridiculous amount of prices Definitely just wait for these in store or just pre-order them online, which is what I did. And immediately shipped it like a day or two after I had pre-ordered it. And I received it in, I think, four days? Four days? I think four days, yeah. It took me four days to receive my turtles. So don't miss out, guys. Definitely pre-order these now if you'd like. Or just, again, if you have a little patience, wait till they're on the pegs. And then... 
pick and choose your favorite ones because I have had complaints about some of their eyes being wonky. I think mine on my Raphael, the eyes are a little wonky. I'm not exactly sure. Because this guy is looking like this way and this guy is looking like that way. But again, he could be looking like on the side, you know, like, oh, looking at the bad guys from the side. But yeah, definitely a must have. I definitely recommend buying these new NECA turtles. You should definitely have one. If not for you, then for your kids. You know, they're definitely um, kid friendly, I believe. Uh, but yeah, definitely you must have peace for your collection. So don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And more reviews will be coming soon, so don't worry. I will have some more of these reviews out um, soon. Hopefully I have all the four turtles uploaded. And then just, you know, wait and see. And then that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.